Leona always dreamed of living in a big city and experiencing all that it had to offer. So when she got accepted into her dream university in the heart of New York City, she was thrilled. She couldn't wait to start her new life and begin making memories in the bustling city that never sleeps. As luck would have it, Leona was assigned a roommate in the university dorms. She was a little apprehensive at first, not knowing who she would be living with for the next year. But when she met her roommate, she was relieved to see that she seemed like a normal, friendly girl. However, as time went on, Leona began to notice small, unsettling things about her roommate. She would often catch her staring at her with a blank expression, and sometimes she would find her rearranging her belongings in their shared room when she wasn't there. But Leona brushed it off as just her roommate being a little quirky. One night, Leona woke up to find her roommate standing at the foot of her bed, just staring at her with an eerie smile on her face. Leona was scared out of her mind and demanded to know what she was doing. Her roommate just laughed and said, I was just watching you sleep. You looked so peaceful. From that moment, Leona knew that there was something seriously wrong with her roommate. She started to avoid her as much as possible and even tried to request a room transfer. But unfortunately, there were no available rooms at the moment. As the days went by, Leona's roommate's behavior became even more bizarre. She would often talk to herself in the middle of the night, and sometimes Leona would hear her laughing maniacally from their shared bathroom. Leona started to fear for her safety and would often lock her bedroom door at night. One day, Leona came home to find her roommate sitting in the middle of their room surrounded by candles. She had a book in front of her, and was chanting something under her breath. Leona was horrified and knew that she needed to get out of there before things got even more out of hand. Desperate to find a way out, Leona contacted her friend who lived in the city and explained her situation. Her friend offered to let her stay at her place until she could figure out a way to get out of her living arrangement with her psychopathic roommate. That night, Leona packed her things and left the dorm, not looking back once. She felt a sense of relief wash over her, knowing that she was finally out of that nightmare. However, her relief was short-lived when she received a call from her university the next day. They informed her that her roommate had been arrested for multiple counts of murder. It turns out she had been using occult rituals to summon demonic entities and had been sacrificing innocent victims in their shared room. Leona was in shock. She couldn't believe that she had been living with a psychopath. Police found the room covered in blood and other unsettling items, all belonging to Leona's now former roommate. She shuddered to think that she had been living in that room with her for months, completely unaware of the true danger she was in. Leona couldn't shake off the feeling of terror and paranoia that had taken over her. She started having nightmares about her roommate coming back to get her and would often wake up in a cold sweat. She even began to see her roommate's face in crowds, even though she knew she was in jail. Eventually, Leona sought therapy to help her cope with the trauma she had experienced. It took her a long time to feel safe again, but she was able to move on and finish her studies. Ever since her terrifying experience with her former roommate, Maria, it had been years since Maria had been convicted for her heinous crimes and sent to prison but the memory of her still haunted Leona. She had done everything in her power to move on from that dark time in her life, but little did she know that Maria was about to resurface and reignite her worst nightmares. It was a foggy evening when Leona arrived home from work. As she walked up to her front door, she noticed a piece of paper tucked under the doormat. Her heart began to race as she recognized the handwriting on the envelope. It was Maria's. She couldn't believe it. How did she manage to find her after all these years? With trembling hands, Leona opened the envelope and read the chilling message inside. Hello, Leona. It's been a while, hasn't it? I bet you thought you were safe from me in that cozy little house of yours. But don't worry, I'll be coming for you soon. I've missed you, my dear. Can't wait to catch up on old times. See you soon, Maria. 
Leona's heart was pounding in her chest as she quickly locked all the doors and windows in her house. She couldn't help but feel like she was being watched. Maria's words sent chills down her spine. She knew Maria was capable of anything and that she needed to take her threat seriously. The next few days were filled with anxiety and fear for Leona. She couldn't shake off the feeling that Maria was always lurking in the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Every time she turned around, she thought she saw Maria's face in the crowd. She was a master manipulator and was now using that skill to terrorize Leona. As days turned into weeks, Maria's messages became more frequent and threatening. Leona was too scared to go to the police, as she knew Maria was capable of outsmarting them. She felt completely alone and helpless. Until one day, she received a knock on her door. With trembling hands, Leona answered the door to find Maria standing there, wearing her usual sinister smile. Before she could even scream, Maria pushed her way inside and shut the door behind her. Long time no see, Leona, Maria said casually, as if she were just an old friend stopping by for a visit. Leona was frozen in fear as Maria walked around her house, touching and picking up her belongings. You've done well for yourself, Leona, but it's time for us to catch up on old times. I have a surprise for you, Maria said with an evil grin. Leona's heart sank as she realized what Maria's surprise was. She had installed cameras all over the house, watching Leona's every move. She had been stalking her this entire time. Leona's worst fears were coming true. She was trapped once again, in her own home, with a psychopath. Maria's games lasted for months. She would leave Leona Creepy Presents every day, send her menacing messages, and constantly remind her that she was still in control. Leona was in a constant state of fear and didn't know how much longer she could take it. One night, Maria pushed Leona over the edge. She broke into her room while she was sleeping and whispered in her ear, I'm going to make you pay for what you did to me, Leona. I'll make your life a living hell. And with that, she vanished into the darkness. Leona knew she had to do something. She couldn't live in fear for the rest of her life. With all the evidence she had collected, she went to the police and begged for their help. Maria was eventually caught again and sentenced to life in prison. Leona finally felt a sense of relief, but she knew the damage had already been done. The memories of Maria's twisted games and threats would always haunt her. Years went by, and Leona tried her best to move on from her traumatic experience. But every so often, she would receive a creepy message from Maria, reminding her that she was still watching. Leona learned to live with that fear, knowing that she had escaped Maria's clutches once and for all. But deep down, she knew she could never fully escape. Maria would always be a part of her past, always haunting her memories, reminding her of the horror she once endured. As we come to the end of another chilling tale, Thank you for listening to Gothic Nightmare. If you enjoyed this horrifying journey into the realm of darkness, make sure to subscribe to never miss out on more bone-chilling horror stories. Remember, the darkness awaits. Thank you for listening and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to hear more horror stories.